Pony players, Robert here. It's time for the fourth Enma Martial Arts Tournament, Time Budokai. While I'll have a video for the event shortly, this one's all about the big man. Let's get to it. Space Time Enma is here, and of course he's an SSS rank like his other forms, Sun God and Dark God. He's got a new Sultimate not seen before and a new skill as well. There are two ways to get him. He'll show up at the end of Budokai round sometimes, or you can be in the top 200 for the whole Budokai in terms of event points. When you're battling him, there are only two yokai that can help you. Hinotori, a god legend who is the fourth seal of the tournament and going to be super hard to get, and Darwin, a great legend who is available in the event gasha. Hinotori has a bonus to damage, and Darwin has a bonus to defense. Without further ado, let's get into it. Here's our first look at Space Time Enma. He's telling us how awesome he is, how he's got this new sultimate and skill, how he's going to kick our butts, etc. When this message comes up, the game's asking if we really want to challenge Enma. That means we should be scared. Let's do it. Space Time Enma is tribe restricted to Brave, Tough, Heartful, and Enma, which actually gives a ton of flexibility in terms of what yokai you can bring to the fight. He's also a no continue battle, oh, and there's so much more. He's got 75,000 hit points, yeah! That's 15,000 more than we're used to in impossible stages. He does 800 damage as well and counts down from 3. He can also smash the playfield like Massaface. I wasn't really expecting that. And I was distracted enough not to get into fever. He knocked me out on the sixth hit. Let's see what kind of advice Whisper has on tap. Says he's a strong enemy, he can shake the board, he can do counterattacks. We didn't get to see that yet, he can... what? Says he can fight against Sultimates, hmm. Also, it basically says he's super easy to beat so long as you have Hinatori and Darwin. Good luck with that. Alright, same deal, two boosters, two tracers, and Chalk Arena, the single attacker and befriender. This time I'm just going to finger swipe the heck out of the playboard and hope to be able to get into fever in time with my Sultimates up and ready. First, I'm going to launch Betty San's Sultimate to boost my attack. There are two things to watch for here. First, he counterattacks for 795 damage. More importantly, however, Betty's Sultimate is gone. Any attack booster should count down for 10 seconds in their soul meter, but hers is immediately empty. It's the same for Neko Nisei, except I'm knocked out before we can even see the soul meter. Don't need those tips, Whisper. Thanks, but no thanks. This time we're bringing Darwin. That's right, the naturalist, geologist, biologist, and great legend yokai. We'll get back to trying to defeat Enma without any help, but for now we just have to make sure Space Time knows we're not messing around. I've also decided that clearly it was my team's fault, not mine, so I've swapped them all out for Enma Tribe. The good news is that Space Time Enma is only doing a little over half as much damage as he was doing before. I'm not linking up quite quickly enough, but we're in the fever. We may not have boosters, but here comes Sun God Enma, the King of Kings. Fire him up and... What? Space Time stole my Sultimate! Looks like it still did the base damage, but no tracing. Next up is Dark God Enma. Looks like he still works, although his output isn't as high as Sun God. I start tracing with Enma Blade, but I'm running out of fever so quickly I hit up King Enma. Too little, too late. Counterattacks got me. Let's try that again. This time I've gotten into fever a lot faster. First up is Darwin, even though he's an all attacker. Next is Dark God Enma, even though he's Dark God Enma. Then it's Sun God Enma, and his ultimate is sucked up. Now it's King Enma. We're looking good, let's see if Enma Blade can finish him off. And that's how you defeat a god. Wait, did I give him any food? At least we know it can be done. 
Let's explore some other ways to face Spacetime Enma, or just STE as his friends call him. Sometimes Spacey, Space Dog. Here I've got an all heartful team, but I've done away with the tracers because you might not have them, and there's that whole Enma eats your ultimate thing. I don't know all the ultimates he can block, but I've never seen him block a single attacker, and you're more likely to have those anyhow. Even though I'm into fever with half of my health, almost none of my ultimates are up because he bounced the board whenever I had a big puny going. This is a great time to tell you another super important piece of information. Even though STE only comes around once in a while, you can restart the level and fight him again. So long as you don't finish by losing or winning, all it costs you is a spirit to restart. I'm going to restart a lot here. I'm walking on my way to Starbucks and, you know what, I'm not at my best. That's what restarts are for. Also, the insane power of Spacetime Enma. This one I feel pretty good about. I've got half my hit points and three ultimates up and one almost up. Unfortunately, I blow most of Fever Time trying to get Neko Nisei up. More on that later. I managed to get Darwin, My Melody SS, and Happy Air Awoken during Fever. I get another My Melody off right after, and Chokarina is up, but I've got no hit points. Thinking, thinking, if I can do all the damage I need in one last ultimate, I'll win. Nope, he's got one hit point or more left, so we lose. Remember when I told you we'd talk more about why I have Neko Nisei on that team? First of all, who doesn't love a blue Egyptian baby cat yokai? Second, he also inflates stuff. More importantly, however, Spacetime Enma doesn't always block boosters. Yep, that's right, sometimes he forgets. I don't know how often, but it actually happened to me two battles in a row. You can see Neko's soul meter is full and slowly counting down, so the boost is active. This is a huge deal, because with a maxed attack booster, you're going to double the output of your attackers. Tie this together with retrying, and you can basically keep trying until your booster makes it, and then go for the win. No matter what, you're not going to be able to beat Spacetime without a really good team, but let's say you're OP all the way except you don't have Darwin. Here I've used Bourgeois G and the Enmas. Bourgeois G is there to get Fever and Sultimates up faster and he has decent hit points. What happens next took me completely by surprise. Sun God Enma's Ultimate gets through no problem, so apparently you can get his Ultimate through sometimes as well. Dark God goes to work, and by the time he's done, I'm already at around 52,000 damage. No. All right, take two. King Enma draws the first strike. Sun God gets through again and I completely fat finger this ultimate with my fingers sticking on the screen every time I try and drag him around. Does that happen to you sometimes? When you're battling Enma? I muddle my way through Dark Enma and then get a decent Blade Enma off. At this point I'm basically dead, but so is Space Time, and one last ultimate from King Enma does it. But do I ever befriend him? Why yes, yes I do. That power, I cannot ignore that. I will be watching. Spacetime Enma is an Enma Tribe SSS rank rearranger time stopping link and attacker. When maxed out, Spacetime Enma has 688 hit points and 975 attack. His skill seems to be that if you pop a big Spacetime Poonie, you have a chance for another big Poonie to drop. So what is a rearranger time-stopping Lincoln attacker? 
If you're familiar with Sakura Van Octor KJ from previous events, time stops and you're able to link Puni for about 5 seconds, after which time starts again. The bigger the Puni you make, the more damage Spacetime Enma does. Where he differs from the other two is that he instantly rearranges the Puni prior to time stopping, which makes it much easier to link up. I hope you enjoyed the video. Push that subscribe button to get notified about all the latest Puni Puni and Wibble Wobble information. I'll be back soon for a video on the Time Budokai event. Good luck with Space Time Enma.